Okay. So uh, describe your pedal board when you play live. What is on your pedal board? It's, it's fairly simple. You know, I don't like... I don't use a whole lot of elaborate stuff just con constantly, you know. I, I use effects to accent certain parts of songs versus layering effects throughout the entire song. So I'll do a clean, dry amp sound, and then I'll throw in a delay to uh, to throw in a little little lead trinket part and things like that. Or, um, or I'll use a whammy pedal at times and stuff like that. Or tremolos, stuff like that are always uh, pretty popular on my pedal board, so. Okay. Fabulous. Yeah. So you're more of uh, you accent. You like your basic exactly. fat sound, and you'll accent from there. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a rhythm player that's using a big delay to do to, to play rhythm parts and stuff like that, like an edge would yeah. for you two or something like that. I usually tend to keep my rhythm somewhat dry, and then I'll throw in a delay for the lead for a little lead accent part, or um, or like I said, a whammy pedal or something like that to do certain things like that. So Question number two. Yeah. What inspired you? When you first started playing guitar, who inspired you? What were your influences? Um, you know, I grew up in the '70s, so and I, I grew up in a small town in Tennessee, so um, there was the influence of Elvis Presley right down the street, and Tina Turner came from my area. You know, so I was listening to a lot of the blues and stuff and the soul music of what what they were all about and everything. You know, but then as I grew older, I was a huge fan of uh, Van Halen. Eddie Van Halen is probably one of the greatest guitar, definitely one of the greatest guitar players ever. So and and his his use of effects always amazed me, you know, his delays and his flangers and things like that that he always did, you know, he always, he knew how to dial things in just right. So, um, I, that's, like, when I use effects, I tend to gravitate towards people like, like Eddie Van Halen or, uh, or the Brian May, you know, Brian May of Queen, of course, you know, is amazing with things like that. And, and The Edge from U2, stuff like that, they always knew how to dial it in just right to where it's not excessive. You know, and, and where you're not washing out your guitar sound with just this whole pack of stuff, you know. So, let's the, let's the actual instrument and the string shine through, you know, nice. and, and along with the amp. So, I always try to do things like that. Very, very cool. Yeah. What uh, what excited you when we approached you to do this? I mean, you were like, you were ready to be on board. What, what? Yeah. What's exciting? Yeah. Well, I mean, I've always, I've always loved TC Electronic stuff. They always make great stuff, you know, great pedals, great rack stuff and, and, and effects and everything. So... As soon as uh, as soon as Marco called me about it, I was like, oh, "I'm there. Let me know. I just want to check these new pedals out." And plus, you know, he was telling me about how you can save the settings like you can, and I, I was very intrigued by very cool. by all of that. So very cool. Yeah. Um, have you ever dialed in a sound with a pedal, and then all of a sudden, before you knew it, there was a song based on that sound? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, it's like. Yeah, there's numerous songs there that you just mess around with a pedal and you're just goofing with sounds and the next thing you know, the riff comes off of the, what the effect was. You know, so. Well, we're hoping that that's what you'll do with these. That's yeah, you'll, you know, absolutely. Be around. And obviously, you know, there'll be a whole lot more to come, so it's very cool. Yeah. So, cool. Um, Great. we just want to thank you for, you know, for coming out and uh, it's been thank my pleasure. You. And, uh, thank we'll, you. And uh, we'll do this again soon. All right.